A migrant caravan headed for the United States was halted by Mexican authorities on Saturday. Mexico's National Guard forcing the group of about 2,000 migrants from, among other places, Africa, the Caribbean, and Central America to turn back hours after they started their journey. President Trump struck a deal with Mexico, remember, to suspend tariffs on their goods if they helped with the migration crisis. And it looks like that's what's happening. Here with more, we are joined by the acting commissioner of Customs and Border Protection, Mark Morgan. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, it looks like when the president threatened Mexico with tariffs, that got their attention, didn't it? A absolutely, Stephen. This is an example where Mexico has stepped up. Yeah. I mean, they really are acting as true partners, seeing this as a regional crisis. You know, back in May, we, we were seeing between 40 to 50 large groups uh, in a single month. Last month, we had one. And now this is another example where Mexico is stepping up and doing exactly as they promised they would. Okay, so explain how it's happening. Obviously, there's intel. They know that uh, a large group of several thousand is on the move. Then what do they do? That's exactly right, Steve. Uh, you know, not to make it too simplistic, but okay. that's right. We're working with them together, uh, law enforcement to law enforcement. We're sharing intelligence on the smuggling organizations and the routes they're using, and they're just using that intel and applying good law enforcement te techniques, and they're identifying where these caravans are starting, and they're interdicting them, they're stopping them, turning them around. Okay, and speaking of turning them around, uh, you know, one of the things that the president had asked Congress to do was to close the loopholes. Uh, they did not. And one of them was catch and release. But now, given the fact that the administration is, uh, enact, you know, has, uh, is uh, following new rules, what's going on with catch and release? Steve, so that's exactly right. What I could say along the southwest border, the catch and release for families, it, it's done. Yeah. And so now the message now is if, if you grab a child, that is no longer your immediate passport in the United States. Because of this president and this administration, the networks of, of uh, initiatives, rules, and regulations that have been uh, implemented, we, we are absolutely making progress. Again, for uh, the last uh, 120 days, last four months, we've reduced apprehensions by 65%. So, so it's those rules rules and regulations right. by this administration, but it's also the hardworking men and women of CBP and ICE that are executing and implementing those, uh, th those rules. Absolutely. Uh, Mark Morgan, we thank you very much for giving us an update from our nation's capital. You bet, Steve.